tortilla chips, sour cream, and salsa, and guacamole. Got everything. Just add the tortilla. and tortilla chips. Mm -hmm. It's Thank my grandmother's you. special recipe. Wow. I made it all from scratch. From scratch? Mm -hmm. This must have you a long time. It did. It really did. Okay, great. Awesome. Well, no, wait, no, wait. I forgot. You have to add something to it. What? Whoa, 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 what are you doing to my guacamole? I have to put lemon on it so it doesn't turn brown. Well, why does guacamole turn brown? In the cells of avocado, the main ingredient in guacamole, there is a chemical called catechol. When exposed to the air, catechol reacts with oxygen to produce benzoquinone. More specifically, an enzyme called catechol oxidase catalyzes the reaction, turning the substrate, the catechol, into benzoquinone, the product. Enzymes accelerate the rate of reactions, which is why the guacamole can turn brown in as little as a few hours. If the guacamole doesn't come in contact with air, catechol won't be able to turn into benzoquinone. So, if you want your guacamole to stay that fresh green color, keeping it tightly sealed in a container should do the trick. Lemon juice will also work. This is for two reasons. First, the polyphenol oxidase only works in a certain pH range. Adding lemon juice and acid changes the pH level, making the enzyme less effective because the extreme change causes the proteins to lose shape. Enzymes are made up of proteins, therefore, if the proteins change, the enzyme doesn't work as effectively. So don't you see, by adding the lemon juice, I'm denaturing the protein in the enzyme so the catechol doesn't turn into benzoquinone. Oh. So it's not going to turn brown? No. Nice. So fresh and so green.